money in itself is never an end. You know, I grew up and maybe I'm giving away my age of good old Huey, Dewey and Louie. And maybe there's a nice idea of having this big pile of money that we can wallow around in and maybe go and lie on the beach and sip daiquiris for the rest of our life. But when you really think about it, that isn't the stuff that really juices us, our passions. So money is a fantastic means to an end. And one of the reasons I speak about becoming a wealth chef and all of us is realizing that money is one of the most important ingredients we have to create the life that we really want. But it is only ever an ingredient. It is we, as the chef, that has to direct it, give it a sense of purpose and direction, focus it to create the life we want. And without that leadership from us, it, can't, it, it does nothing. It, it needs to be directed, and this is the key thing. You know, money is a disastrous master, but a fantastic servant. So the key thing is about who do we need to become and what are the skills we need so we can shift that relationship and start really mastering money and being a fantastic leader of it. So I want to ask you a question. You know, we're here talking about financial independence, financial freedom. Where are you going to be three years from today? Where, whatever your financial position is, I'd love to get to know each of you and know where you are in your financial journey. But wherever you are, maybe you're in debt, maybe you've got some investments, maybe you're in that cycle of just you know, focusing on increasing your income and hoping that'll be the solution. Wherever you are, where are you going to be three years from today in connection to your financial liberation, your financial freedom on that path? Will you have made progress? Will you have got significantly closer to your goals? Do you know what your goal is in relation to your money and your finance? This is so important that we actually have a direction, that we know what we're aiming at. And then the key part is we have to take actions. We've got to take steps because it's so easy for another year to pass and another year to pass and we've made absolutely no progress. And a key part of that is really getting clear on what the vision is for your life. What is wealthy for you? Each and every one of us, it's completely unique and individual. And it's so easy to be bombarded by media, magazines, advertising, telling us what it is to be successful, what it means to be wealthy and driven by that. But when you can get a real clear vision of what you want from this juicy feast of a life, what is it that's really important to you? What is that thing that you want to do, be, create, contribute more to? When you get that really clear, then you can start directing money. Your why is the most important driver in your financial freedom plan, knowing why you're doing that. Because that gives you the power to be able to say no to some things and say big yes to you, which is one of the most important skills in all aspects of creating this great life. And as you design that vision and you see what that is, what is it that you want from this life, you'll realize that actually at the root of so many of those things is money. And we, are, we grow up with so many different mixed beliefs around money. It's the root of all evil, or you're greedy. You know, poor old money gets labeled with so many different things. And a mix of good and bad beliefs that often don't serve us. But when we can understand that it is a key, it is this input that we need to master, create those things, then it gives us the focus to go, you know what, let me learn about this. 